This is Twit. I wanted to mention Andor, Leo. Yeah, it's good, isn't in it? A wor- in a word, wow. Yeah. And, and of course, there'll be no spoilers here. But I want to set the stage a little bit and give our listeners just a bit of background to raise their curiosity level. Uh, And if you're someone who wants to hear absolutely nothing in advance, then skip forward 60 seconds. Andor presents the story of an orphan, Cassian Andor. The series is set well before the events of Luke and his princess sister. It tells the story of the early rise of the Empire as it gradually displaces corporate rule for imperial rule and tightens its grip on the galaxy's citizenry, which is increasingly becoming stratified into upper and lower castes. Mostly, Cassian just wants to be left alone. He grew up hard and survives by reselling tech that he steals from around the fringes of the Imperium. Despite being raised by an adopted mother who has been seeing what's happening to the galaxy and wants to rebel, he has zero interest in any cause. He holds no such ideals. He just wants to be left alone and not be told what to do. Over the course of these first 12 beautifully crafted episodes, we watch that change. If you don't already subscribe to Disney+, Plus. I cannot imagine that you would regret subscribing just long enough to watch this first 12 season or 12 episode season. Uh, there might even be a free you know, trial period available to new subscribers. I was not offered one because a year or two ago, after watching the first season of The Mandalorian, I canceled my subscription. The Mandalorian wasn't horrible. And Lori loved Baby Yoda. I kept hearing, oh, but neither did it strike me as being all that great. It's just a rubber puppet. (laughs) That's so cute. Oh, anyway, but Andor is another thing entirely. And Leo, I think that this very sober and serious series may be the best Star Wars property I've ever watched. I agree. And I I think it is because... It's very little Star Wars, <laughs> in a way, right? Right. There's no, there, there's no. Who is that? Usa Usa Gusa no, thing? That, no, none with of the that floppy stuff. ears. No there, uh, there, Jar there Jar. No, e- no. The Jar Jar Binks. There's no Ewoks. There's I haven't seen the last episode yet, but I don't even think there's any lightsabers. Maybe there is at, towards the end. But oh, but Leo, that the that fight scene in the second oh, to last episode, so good. Oh my god, so good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's and a number of people told me this. It's a good Star Wars show if you're not if you don't really want a Star Wars movie. But but there is that undercurrent which you mentioned of we're seeing the be rise of the empire. So yes. if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll like it. And there's a lot of, you know, there's tie fighters, there's Star Wars technology in it. But uh yeah, and, and it's a Laurie good said, story. As Lori said, it has a lot of pew, 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 pew. It does. And the stormtroopers <laughs> are still lousy shots, but okay. Um, you know, oh, yeah, I thought it was really, really, really good. Yeah. Very, very Anyway, good. so, you know, w- w- we talked about The Expanse. We love The Expanse. Uh, this is, and, and again, if you hate Star Wars, I would say, I think you're right, Leo. Forgive it for being set in that universe. Yeah, because it's barely I mean, Star and, Wars. And yeah. the other thing I thought was really interesting is... The rebels are shown to be, they're just as ruthless as the Empire in their own way. I mean, it's not, its not you know, sugar-coated and lollipops. It's its, it's, a, it's more of a gritty kind of yeah. real, somebody says like a spy story. It is. It's a little more like it would be, a, if you took away the Star, Tour, Star Wars trappings, it'd be the same story, same show. Oh, and, and boy, it is. It, it, there are some people you love to hate. I mean, they're, Ooh, they're, yeah. they're just beautifully Ooh, there's characterized. there's some bad people in it. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. So by all means, watch the last one. It has a great ending. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been saving it. And I just can't wait for the next season. It's like, oh, come on. <laughs> Let's keep going. 
Hey, I'm Rod Pyle, Editor-in-Chief of Ad Astra Magazine, and each week I join with my co-host to bring you This Week in Space, the latest and greatest news from the final frontier. We talk to NASA chiefs, space scientists, engineers, educators, and artists, and sometimes we just shoot the breeze over what's hot and what's not in space, books, and TV. And we do it all for you, our fellow true believers. So whether you're an armchair adventurer or waiting for your turn to grab a slot in Elon's Mars rocket, join us on This Week in Space and be part of the greatest adventure of all time.